If you've been scanning long enough, eventually you will run into a misalignment. With my experience, I run into more misalignments when using a 360 camera or access, but that's not to say you won't run into any misalignments when using a pro camera. If you feel like you're running into a lot more misalignments than you should, then I would definitely start by reducing the distance between scan positions. Remember, when using a 360 camera or access, it's recommended to keep the distance between scan positions about four to five feet, more roughly one and a half meters. And when I break the path of aligned scans, I try to place the next scan position over or as close to a previously scanned position as possible. And this is what I mean by that. You can see in this model, I have scan position 53, 54, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right here, I finish with 59. And then I pick up the camera and walk out of the room and place scan position 60 over scan position 52. Instead of over here where I have 61, I put it over here that maximizes the amount of overlapping scan data between 52 and 60, making it a lot easier for the system to find alignment. Once I have verified that scan 60 is properly aligned with scan 52, I can go ahead and scan my way into the other room. While following these best practices is clearly a good idea and it will reduce the amount of misalignments you run into, it can't eliminate it completely. And eventually you will run into a misalignment. First, let me take a quick minute and show you what a misalignment looks like once it's been processed. You can see that after I've gone into this room, I've scanned position 64, and then scan 65 jumps over back into this room and 66 follows. This is not how I scanned it. 65 should be over here and 66 should be over here. You can see that if I go into the dollhouse view, you can see there's kind of a window that you can make out over here. It's a bit blurred out around the edges. There's also uh, some door frame right there that I can make out. And if I look back at this wall, this window doesn't look quite right. Some, some 3D mesh from these two scans is being placed over mesh that's been created by these other scans. And if I go into scan 56 and then I move right up ahead to scan 65, you can see I have this nice clean wall. And as soon as I move forward, I'm in a completely different room. So these two are radically misaligned and I need to fix that. So this is how you go about doing it. It is not done post-processing in Workshop. It has to be done in the Matterport app and ideally throughout the scanning process while you're still on site. So for that reason, it's really important to keep a close eye on the minimap as you're scanning and make sure that last scan position you captured is properly aligned. So here you can see this model and I've got scans 56, 55, 65, and 66 right here. So I wanna start by realigning scan 65. I'm gonna grab that and just press realign scan. And then I can grab and rotate the scan itself. Move it over here. I can use two fingers to rotate the scan position and put it where it belongs. You can see how this room is much better aligned. It doesn't have to be perfectly aligned, but I like to make it as close as possible because it is gonna use my placement as a hint to properly align the scan position. And as it realigns scan 65, it's gonna grab any domino affected scan positions like 66 and move them as well. So now once I have positioned scan 65 correctly, I'll go ahead and press the green check. In this case, I'm not gonna do that because I wanna show you a little trick. Assuming this does not work, it's just gonna pop it right back into place or maybe some other location in this model. So what I can do, I'm gonna cancel this, and I know that 65 and 66 need to be aligned with scan 64. So I'm going to select 65 and then choose 66 and 64, move those to a new floor. I'm gonna create a whole new floor, call it floor three, hit save. Those are moved up there. Now I'm gonna go back into 65, hit realign scan, move that over and rotate it. And the reason I did this is that now, instead of the system looking at all the scan positions on that floor and potentially becoming confused again as it did the first time around, it's only gonna look at scan 64 and 66. It's going to just look at that information to try and place it. It's gonna make it a lot easier for the system to realign this way. I'll hit check. And you can see that it grabbed not only 65, but also 66 and put that into position. Now I'm going to tap and hold, grab these and bring them back into floor two. And you can see now they're all properly aligned. Now I just tap upload, re-uploading the model data, correctly aligned. This way it'll process a properly aligned digital twin.